Hey guys, Steel here, back with some more RimWorld. Um, so we got our other geothermal built. I am, I'm kind of just like lots of redundant wiring since it's outside of our base and I'm building some barricades over it. Um, so hopefully it doesn't like catch fire or just like get targeted for attack right away. Uh, and so we are doing a little bit more like moisture pump action out here just so that we can complete that. Um, I'm realizing this area is like super slim, so I don't think we're going to be able to fit a ship in there. Um, so we'll have to like figure out what our plan is. Uh, I'll have to design the ship. I was kind of like playing around with some things and I'm like, hmm, we can build a ship here. It isn't going to look as good as I want it to look. So, um, we'll figure that out. Starting to build our greenhouse again. Uh, extended this building a little bit, put another barracks down here. Um, our children are out of the growth fats, so our next like squad of potential troops or just colonists are, uh, are out and about learning and whatnot. Um, what other things are going on? We did start harvesting some ovums. We built two stations for creating clones. The thing about clones with the cloning mod is that they're sterile. So like we can send a bunch of clones, but I think the only clones that we would like send away for kind of like the next colonization effort would be like our strongest military folks, like the those folks that um, basically we would just use the clone for troops. Whereas like these embryos that we have left and then these ovums that we've extracted could become potential like reproductive colonists which we would need for you know continuing that colony's expansion so that's what's going on there uh, i think when we wake up we are gonna continue with what we left off with yesterday and that is how many darkened colonies do we have left just three have three darkened colonies Okay, so I think we're doing all right. I think taking out those darkened colonies will, it'll get us neutral with a bunch of folks. Um, it might even, it'll definitely ally us with another person. And then that just leaves a couple like permanently hostile factions. So we can target those next. And hopefully by the time we're done with that, our next squad will be like good to go. We'll have another drop ship and will feel comfortable like taking this on um so yeah this is like our big kind of like end game challenge like we need to get rid of that reaper presence to secure the world so uh we'll get back once we've arrived at our next darkened colony okay and we are doing another center drop okay let's have you guys do your search and destroy let's have everyone else kind of like find some cover Put down a combat drone. Let's move forward so we aren't shooting the ship. Oops, something sounds like it's blowing up. Fire bomb popper. Okay. And then we are... We're just going to, like, head right out. So let's go... Oh, actually, I do kind of want these meals, just in case. Cool, and we will hit up the next one right away. Okay, rinse and repeat. Okay, you guys go ahead and search and destroy. Let's take a look at them. I'm hoping that it's just bruises, yeah bruises cracks okay that's not bad let's get down here uh, let's do our marksman command as well we are gonna put that in the home zone so they repair it right away as soon as we're like done with combat release them let them do their repair and we'll hit up the last darkened colony okay trying to keep the ship out of combat this time so uh, we did an edge drop let's go ahead and head up this way let's 
speed this up. And are you guys still search and destroy? You are not. We are throw a combat drone down. It's lying behind it. Turn carnage on. Nice. Okay, so that's all the darkened bases. Uh, let's go ahead. Ooh. You guys, what's slowing you down? Maybe some food poisoning? Yeah, super bad food poisoning. We'll release you guys. Let's go ahead and we'll drop the zone. We'll load the ship up. Don't need those chunks. And then while they're loading up, let's take a look at the world. So faction-wise, uh, we're neutral with everyone except uh, the, this pact, this league, uh, and of course the pirates. So the pirates have been spreading and upgrading their bases. So these guys have like four bases down here. These guys have two bases. These guys have four bases. These guys have two. So I think this is probably our easiest target to take out next. We'll send our troops home and then we'll rest up and begin kind of clearing out these factions that are always going to be hostile with us. Okay, we're loading the ship for our next attack and we're going to do a little, something a little different. So we uh, upgraded Maddie's biotic and omni tool capabilities to level four. Uh, we're gonna see what Maddie can do. So we'll bring some like support, um, but it's gonna be like the Maddie show. So I think that's probably fine. Maybe we'll bring our melee dudes just in case. So we'll come back and we're going to see if we can take out a whole colony with just one biotically gifted person. So if we look at her, well, we'll have to look when we can, uh, when we can draft her. So we'll be, okay, we've arrived. They are shooting mortars at our ship. Um, I think they'll probably start shooting mortars at us. So I'm going to have our range guys just kind of like queued up to be doing some movements so we don't have to worry about them too much and then our melee folks will get in here um, maddie you can see she has a hex shield combat drone incinerate and a defense matrix um, and then she also has dark channel biotic throw biotic wrap biotic singularity is like a little aoe pole and annihilation field so like i think this pole into the singularity and then an annihilation field i think it's gonna be crazy awesome so let's see what we can do to get these folks down here um okay so if they get close she has some guards Biotic Singularity. Okay, let's get a little closer. Okay, there is a turret. Let's do the Singularity. And then let's do an Annihilation Field. Put down our Combat Drone. Okay. It's like pulling some people in. It's doing some damage. Uh, Dark Channel. This guy. Ooh. Ooh, that looks so weird. Okay, there we go. Biotic wrap, what is create a rapidly shifting mass effect field? Okay, shreds their armor. Let's do maybe another singularity. Ooh, wait, what was that? Was that something we did? Was that like an explosion that happened? Okay, let's turn on biotic throw. And then we'll do another dark channel. Okay, so she's just doing like biotic throws. Um, annihilation field up here. Dark channel, almost on that guy. This guy. Okay, 
how many of them are left? There are like 19 that are not dead. Dark channel over here. Okay, she did it. She like single-handedly got them to retreat. Let's do singularity and then maybe an annihilation field. ship is fine, our ranged folks are fine. What's this hex shield look like? Um, okay, I don't see it. And defense matrix on her. Okay, cool. She just gets a shield like them. We had incinerate turned on. Nice. Like, if you get a biotically gifted pawn and and install these biotics in them, it is it's pretty cool looking. We'll take out the next faction base for these guys, and then this faction will be gone. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We have a raid coming in. Let's go ahead and schedule. We'll restrict all our folks to walls. Our mechs the same. Um, history, let's take a look at this message. They're attacking immediately, so let's go ahead and get you guys into defensive positions. Um, and we are attacking another faction base still. So, ooh, they are, this is like a retribution raid. Um, okay, I think we're, I think we're in a good spot. Like, we can have you guys come out as bait. We can turn these guys off of hold fire. And... There's a hundred of them. They are, ooh, they're like, their stats were like 128% or higher, uh, or 112 to 128, 140% manipulation is wild. Okay, you guys, we are gonna go a little bit more traditional here and we're just gonna have everyone do all the things. Um, so let's like move you guys into position like here. And we will turn on Search and Destroy for you guys. Keep an eye on what's going on here. They are flooding into the kill box. This is like basically their last stand. They're trying to take us out before we take them out. That's amazing. Um, we can do a marksmanship command and then put you guys down there. You guys, we will do combat command, combat command, and let's put a combat drone down. Just like turn that on as well. Okay, let's take a look here. Attack has begun. Fire. Oh, oh. Then will we rebuild it? We will. That's, that's pretty annoying. Um, whatever. It's fine. Okay, you guys are getting close. Speed things up a little bit. Which isn't really going to do anything because we have 100 pawns on our other map. Uh, TPS is at 28 ticks per second. Yep, that's not going to be anything to worry about. You throw combat right down right there. Let's do a singularity here. It looks like that's where they're gathering. And then... Death, the Loki mech. Read more. Oh my god. Oh my god, they are like swarming in. Um, ooh. Um, can we close these doors? Agrahand, please. Please, Agrahand. Go, 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 go. Cool. That's great. Uh, these guys are gonna try and flee. They're gonna try and flee through our doors, so we don't want them busting our doors down. We can go ahead and unrestrict folks schedule unrestricted 
You guys are fine. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. We have some fire happening. Oh, it's because they're getting into things. Okay. These guys, they're not fleeing yet. Ooh, let's not go through our, like, little shred area. Base destroyed. Great. Okay, we still have some hostile turrets on the map, though. Guys, take those out. Ooh. There we go. Uh, actually, you guys just, like, back off. Or don't. Or don't. Okay. Got their chief. That's wild. So that faction is gone, gone. Um, we're good there. Uh, let's just um, draft everyone. We are good here. We will let you guys go. Oh, man. Uh, definitely, definitely a lot going on in this episode. Took out all those darkened colonies. Took out our first kind of like permanently hostile faction as well. We are allied with everyone that we can be allied with. We have four factions that we need to clean up uh, before we kind of like get into the end game. And a bunch of children that need to grow up to become soldiers. So we are getting there. Uh, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Uh, until next time, have a good one. Bye.